All right, what's going on guys? Trev back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing a video giving my thoughts. We have some brand new articles starting to hit regarding this 10 year plan from AMC and the expanded television universe of The Walking Dead. And I'll put the link to the article in the description so you guys can go ahead and check this one out. It's from Bloomberg.com where they have some details about some insider info, this kind of thing, about the whole 10-year AMC Walking Dead plan. So it says, inside AMC Network's plan to make the Walking Dead live forever, or at least, you know, to expand it for another 10 years and kind of what they're uh, what they're looking for. It says cable programmer has 10 year plan for movies, new TV series, and they're, they're starting to look for a partner uh, which could possibly be an online service. So we're talking like maybe uh, Netflix or I know uh, Amazon is getting in the game uh, big time with their uh, Prime because, uh, yeah, there's... And then, of course, there's there's all kinds of other, you know, online uh, streaming uh, services as well too. But, you know, those are probably the two biggest ones I want to say right now with Netflix being probably the biggest. So, uh, yeah, they might want to... We'll see who they end up actually going with, but it looks like they need a backer because um, what they're planning to do is going to be really big and it's going to be costly. So here, here's what it says. AMC Networks Inc. wants to keep The Walking Dead on its feet for years to come. The company, which owns the popular zombie apocalypse series, plans to produce multiple movies and new TV shows based on the graphic novels that spawn the series, according to people familiar with the plans. AMC has talked to several large media companies about partnering on the projects, because they need probably, this is me speculating now, probably because they need more backing, like in order to do these kind of um, you know, movies and things like this. Uh, it's very costly, so you need to get you know quite a bit of backing, and uh, so they, they may have to look to partner with somebody else and, and use leverage that in order to to create some really unique and cool stuff here, uh, which collectively could cost several hundred million dollars. Said the people who asked not to be identified because the plans are still being worked out. So it sounds like this is kind of some leaked information or the start to some information about what AMC is kind of working on. Someone from the inside has let it go, right? <laughs> So, uh, you know, so it sounds like they're looking around, they're seeing, you know, they're they're uh, they're sending around the info. They're trying to find out who might be interested and who uh, would want to kind of partner up for this. And uh, it'll probably be Netflix, you know, <laughs> let's be honest here. They've got lots of money and, um, you know, new series coming out all the time. And and well, we'll see. We'll see who actually plans, uh, who, who decides to uh, partner up with uh, AMC on this one. But, you know. A few, you know, a few hundred million dollars, whatever, <laughs> several hundred million dollars. Um, they're going to be able to produce some really cool stuff, and that's one of the things for The Walking Dead um, that people have over time often complained about is that uh, sometimes the scale in terms of what they do is a bit lacking. You know, if you look at Fear the Walking Dead or the original Walking Dead series, a lot of the environments, a lot of the landscapes are a lot of like back roads and stuff like that. Places where they can most easily uh, film. They have to build the communities up. They have to do all these different things that they're doing. So uh, if they want to do either some television movies or some, who knows, I, you know, I don't know, uh, big budget movies will sever $100 million. I'm not sure how much TV movies cost to produce i don't think it's comparable really to um, you know motion picture uh you know on the big screen uh theater type movies but you know who knows really what we're what we're seeing for that but at least from here what it says is um so yeah tv yeah 10 year plan for movies and new tv series so it doesn't necessarily state for sure whether it be TV movies, like a TV special where you'd watch it on AMC or a streaming service, or both, like AMC would air it and a streaming service would have it as well, too. And, um, you know, you, you'd, you'd have it like an hour and a half or two hour type of runtime for something special to see that could be a lot bigger budget than what they usually do with um, maybe one season of The Walking Dead or something like that. I can think of some cool ideas uh, for something like that. You could do like a Here's Negan or something like that. That'd be cool to see, you know, Negan's evolution from the time that we meet him in the season six finale uh, up to that point. So from the start of the zombie apocalypse up to there, that'd be a cool idea for maybe a TV movie or something like that. Or for people that like 
like kind of the theory. I know we haven't seen The Walking Dead Season 9 start yet, but if Rick isn't, in fact, killed off 100%, then this could be maybe what they're looking at. Maybe they want to use Andrew Lincoln in some TV movies or, or you know, some big-budget movies. We'll have to we'll have to see what, uh, what it is. Or it could be stuff that's completely new, right? It could be totally new... Um, you know, uh, characters and different locations and that. So let's continue reading here. Uh, the discussions, yeah, the discussions are part of an ambitious plan to keep the grisly tale co-created by Robert Kirkman uh, filling the company's coffers for another 10 years. As chief executive officer, Josh Sapan told an investor conference last week, the show's popularity along with past hits like Mad Men and Breaking Bad has allowed AMC to double revenue over the past five years through ad sales, fees from pay TV providers, and deals for reruns. So they're making a lot of money, right? <laughs> they're making money hand over fist. Uh, with the original uh, show entering its ninth season, AMC is looking for ways to expand the series into a franchise that lives on in many forms, like Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, and not uh, overextend a property that's already showing signs of fatigue. After peaking at 19 million viewers in 2015, the audience for The Walking Dead declined to an average of 11 million in the, few, in the most recent uh, season. So future plans. Uh, quote, we have a plan that goes well into the future. Uh, so that was at the conference that he said that. And it says, while AMC is still working on the details, the pillars of its plan are becoming clear. The company wants to produce several movies for a TV network or streaming service that could spin off into different series, said the people. The company would also take the franchise overseas, setting at least one series in another country. The Walking Dead is one of the most popular shows in dozens of countries. And that's one thing we have to keep in mind with regards to the ratings for Fear and the original Walking Dead. Uh, the rating numbers uh, that are on the wiki are U.S. only, so it doesn't count me, you know, Canadian uh, people in the U.K. I know it's really popular over there. A lot of you guys are from the U.K. Uh, any country, right? So it doesn't factor in any of that. So uh, it's true that I'm sure The Walking Dead, you know, being one of the most popular in not just the United States, but in dozens of countries here, like it says, all over the world, a worldwide type of uh, series, a uh, hit is what it's become. Scott Campbell, who produced several seasons of The Walking Dead, is overseeing development of different narrative possibilities. He was named Chief Content Officer for both The Walking Dead and its prequel, Fear of the Walking Dead, in January. Uh, Charlie Coley... Charlie Collier, a president of AMC Channel and Studio, is leading the business effort. He joined the company in 2006 and has helped transform the company's flagship network from a home for old movies to a destination for high-end dramas like award winners Mad Men and Breaking Bad. So, no show has meant more to AMC than The Walking Dead, which still ranks as one of TV's most watched shows. After eight years, viewers were so eager to pick apart every moment that AMC uh, created a talk show to discuss each episode, hosted by Chris Hardwick, Talking Dead, often ranks among the most watched shows on cable as well, and has inspired a number of copycats. Um, hmm. Other talking series? I'm not sure what they mean by copycats. Uh, are, there other ser are there other drama series that have... Um, you know, like a talk, a Talking Dead type of talk show after? I'm not sure. Maybe there are. I, I'm, hmm, I'm trying to think if there's any. Well, does HBO even, after Game of Thrones, they even do some kind of thing now, don't they? I think so. Something like that. Um, so in addition to a prequel and talk show, the program has spawned web series, mobile games, and yada, yada, yada all that other stuff. So we'll see what they, uh, what they do. Um, yeah. So we'll, we'll see what they come out with next. But basically, it sounds to me like in the next 10 years, they're looking to manage it in such a way where they have it grow out of the original series, it sounds like. So whether or not the original series will last 10 years, maybe it won't, right? Maybe it won't. So we'll have to see what happens with that. But it looks like they have some ideas for some uh, TV uh, you know, movies, for streaming and that kind of thing. And um, possibly some of those, if they're, if they're a success, going into spinoff series. One Walking Dead series overseas, which I've always liked the UK. I always thought the UK would be a good choice for that. But who knows? It could be any, any country. We'll have to see what they go with. And basically, it sounds like they're going to have you know, lots of different Walking Dead stuff coming out, you know, each year. And uh, the main series, while it's good for probably at least a couple more years, after that, we'll have to see. It's possible that they could end the main series in a few years and then do some kind of spinoff or something like that or, you know, something like this. A, a relaunch or a rebrand can sometimes, um, you know, give a series a boost 
if it's feeling like it's going into too many seasons, like you know, why can they get season eleven or twelve? It sounds cooler to see, you know, like a brand new, like to end that one and then do a brand new Walking Dead something, you know, and then have maybe Daryl, I don't know, do something. We'll see. We'll see what they do. So um, it's exciting stuff. You know, I'm happy to hear that they have some good plans in place and they haven't told us all the, uh, you know, ideas yet of the things they're working on. But as it's pretty much leaked here, at least one Walking Dead series overseas and several, you know, uh, Walking Dead TV movies or, or movies in some capacity here. So anybody who likes the idea of Rick, um, you know, having his last season in the original series, but... You know, who knows, something else being done with him later. If he's not killed off, then, uh, you know, maybe maybe you like this news. Uh, but we'll have to see episode five and six, right? He might just be killed off, and then after that, they might just, you know, uh, end the original Walking Dead series in a few years or something and start up some other kind of series with a new set of characters or something or, you know, have one series that carries on after uh, rebranded or something as Walking Dead, something else, you know, uh, sort of like Fear of the Walking Dead uh, has been. Anyway, those are my thoughts on uh, this kind of 10-year plan. It sounds pretty cool, but um, let's see what happens this year. Like, 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 let's see what happens in this first half first, because we'll see how the viewers respond if, if Rick is killed off. So I'm kind of hoping he's not, um, you know, even though a lot of the signs are pointing to him being, um, I'm kind of hoping he's not so they could kind of you know, uh, use him further in one of these spinoffs or something like this that they're going to be doing, even if it's movies or whatever they have to do. So that'll be it for this uh, video, guys. Let me know what you think. Um, you know, if you liked it, thumb it up. Write your predictions below. Write your comments below. How are you feeling about this? Walking Dead movies, Walking Dead series overseas, and several, probably a couple, Walking Dead series and movies in the future to come in the next decade. That's it for this video, guys. We'll see you again soon for another. As always, it's Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. I'll see you soon.